All right. Uh, hello and welcome back. Um, last session was a little bit crazy. Uh, Jin and the party finally managed to uh, find their way out of the dungeons of Spellhold. Um, <laughs> and as soon as they uh, emerged after a group, a bunch of uh, tests of madness, they uh, emerged from the depths and were confronted by um, uh, somebody whose name I've already forgotten. Somebody the same. Who is insanely powerful, or uh, maybe I approach the fight um, in a in a in a uh, bad way. But uh, he essentially killed um, Jahira, Minsk, and Eri, <laughs> and petrified Imran, uh before Jin and uh, Anima were able to kill him. And of course, as soon as we did that, uh, all the prisoners in Spellhold were freed which transported us, teleported us, straight into a battle against Irenicus himself <laughs> with uh, a badly injured Jin and Animan as the only surviving party members um, after defeating, somehow, defeating uh, uh, Irenicus, albeit not permanently just forcing him to uh, retreat um, I suppose uh, a great deal of that was actually thanks to the uh, to the other prisoners in here, um, I think Waynev cast some ridiculous spells, including Time Stop, which uh, I've never seen before. Um, yeah, thanks mostly to our um, to, to the uh, other prisoners, uh, we managed to beat back Aranicus, but uh, then we were attacked by none other than Yoshimo and uh, a whole bunch of murderers, uh, I guess assassins, and. Uh, and Jin and Animan had to face them alone. <laughs> and uh, somehow, even though Animan had lost his true sight, and of course nobody else was able to provide uh, detection spells, um, we were able to overcome Yoshimo and all of the uh, murderers, uh, the assassins with him. I think Celestial Fury played a huge role in that because uh, in, in being able to uh, stun somebody like Yoshimo prevented them from repeatedly going invisible and backstabbing. So somehow we've managed to uh yeah somehow we managed to um to, to survive all of that. I honestly didn't expect that to happen. Uh I was uh, fully prepared to just load a new game um and I thought I'll give it a go and see see what happens exactly. Somehow we managed to make through it, <laughs> make, make make it through all of that. Um, so here we're just picking up the pieces, and uh, um, Minsk leveled up. I'm not sure how or when because he was dead. Um, and of course, yes. we just revived Immortal from petrification. So um, she is a uh, pretty in pretty bad shape. Um, yep. Let's see if we have healing spells for her. What is it now? Okay. Yes. I shall go forth at your command. You find it. I What can I do? I think we need to rest, but uh, I'm keen to find out whether the um. Uh, equipment on him or uh, sorry on Yoshimo is still there because uh, obviously some of that was very useful stuff. And uh, but after the battle, Jim was just more concerned with uh, getting everyone else back than uh, looting Yoshimo's body because uh, with only Animan and himself, he was never able to carry all of that anyway. So um, what is my task? I think we'll have to go uh, downstairs. Um, I think this was downstairs. It shall be. You must gather your party. Yeah, return to the scene of the carnage here. Consider it done. Holy moly! Let's look at this place. And uh, I think after that we're gonna examine this area in a bit more detail and see if we missed anything. With, uh, 
Yeah, the end of last On session is pretty honor. hectic. I will do my best. So these are sort of murderers. One of these corpses is your female however. This one. Um I think we'll have a more What do you want? Gotcha. Alright. So some healing potions was useful. I think uh anime may have run out. Oh, so did Jin. Reorganizing some health potions. Um, invisibility, that's good. Alright, this is the sword we were saving for Imoen. Yeah, I think we'll give her that. And, uh, maybe give every this one. We can keep this one in backup. Um, Yeah, I think I probably made a lot of mistakes in, the, in those battles. Made things unnecessarily difficult. Really dangerous sense. No detection. Invisibility ring. Sort of stuff that was on Yoshimo. Um, yeah, give this to me. One arrow of item. Piercing. Master Thievery. Because if she wears this, she will not be able to um, cast spells. So I'm gonna put this in the bag. Oh, of course, uh, that means we don't need this anymore. After the drinker, might keep it just for the uh, effects. No, <laughs> I doubt I'll remember to use it, even if it was useful at some point. Crossbow, twig and bow. No, that's short bow plus one. Um, fire arrows. And this is twig and bow. Yeah. Um, turn up is two. No more healing potions. What's this? Uh, potions of perception. Okay. Don't need to worry about those animals. Guess we'll give this to Shahira. Yoshimo's heart. The heart of Yoshimo is to be taken to a priest of Yomotor to remove the gias that and grant the thief peace and death. Oh, so uh, I guess Yoshimo was um, cursed. I'm not really sure how gias works. We come across that with um, two assassins in uh, Boulder's Gate, um, Marek and Lothander. Um, I don't know if it physically compels them to do something or uh, threatens them death unless they do something. I guess uh, how that Gias works will influence what Jin thinks about this. He's not the most forgiving of people, so um, I don't know why he would. <laughs> unless if uh, yeah, if the Gias made essentially uh, compelled Yoshimo to do what he did and he had no free will which doesn't sound like what it was I don't see why Jim would do this but hold on to it for now though stick it in the bag along with everything else <laughs> does this bag have a limit? it's pretty amazing how much stuff we put in there okay, uh, Minsk can level up Becoming a, uh, I didn't even see, I think level, I'll find out afterwards, but uh, it's getting a new proficiency slot. Did not expect that. Two handed sword, um, mace, longbow, 
Something you cannot get anymore. Two-handed weapon style. Okay. I think it makes critical hits more, more readily um, available. Okay. So Minsk is now a level 12 ranger. Why does he have free action? I'm not sure. Probably a spell we cast on him a long time ago. Maybe a ring? Oh yeah, a ring of free action. That could be why. Okay. Um, Alright, we're gonna score. I uh, guess Iranicus is compound. What do you require? See if there's anything else. Yes. Good to go. All the bodies of the murderers. I guess the bodies of the uh, inmates didn't have anything on them. They were prisoners. I guess that makes sense. Um, is that just a door? Locked. Okay, I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Let's this portal. I'm not sure if we can now open that yes. portal. Very well. Right you are. Okay. No physical or magical way to open it. What is my task? Well, I think there's nothing else on this level. So uh, we'll head upstairs. Done. Gather your party before venturing forth. That's all. Where is your... Uh, uh, you must gather your party before venturing forth. Let me find forth. a role for him. Okay. So... This is the common area As where the first... Uh, On my own, it shall be. Anyway. Say, uh, a rogue stone. One his own gold, gold piece. Uh, what do you require? Okay. Consider it this done. This deal was when I saw him, or rather before the battle where he died. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so what is my task? I await your word. Uh, Gone and off like the shadow flees the moor. You aren't going to let him fall away so easy, are you? 